You've got a hundred people standing around, not doing anything, and you've got a couple of people willing to work. Everyone else is standing around watching. I'm, I'm a concerned citizen, just watching. My name's John Longfist, and you sound like you talk a lot of shit. I'm observing. What are you observing? I'm look, observing. Look, look at what I'm seeing. I'm seeing people hanging out, relaxing. Well, maybe they don't want to haul trash. Maybe they don't want to help. No, maybe, maybe they don't, they don't want to work. Wanna haul trash. Maybe they don't want to work in the kitchen. Trash. I don't want to work haul trash. Haul okay, trash then. Make food, do do? Serve food. I'm uh I'm I'm just documenting what I see. And I hear I hear the kitchen making requests yeah, for volunteers. Do you have an affiliation to any kind of news media? Like no, this is just me. Okay. Just me as a concerned individual. Trying to trying to I'm trying to friend. show people maybe what's going on. Yeah. I do a lot of volunteering here, um, because I live here. Okay. And we're a hobby and we're just like we're close until that garbage gets moved. That's cool. Yep. I understand that, but you see, you see what I'm saying. The 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 occupation, okay, you want coffee, in a sense, is saying we need more not, or we deserve more. Okay. The side that it's getting better though. You have to acknowledge that. Like, well, hang on. The side the si coffee and that's how we that's how we they're excited because they've had a lot of caffeine. Because we're working in coffee. He's pulled a 20-hour shift. No, we're closed right now, and we're brewing coffee. That's cool. That's cool. Now, now, in general, in general, a person like me who looks from the outside, oh, I go. I understand. It's, it doesn't look great from the outside. Well, from I, the inside, though, I've watched it grow, and it was really bad. We had a lot of people who weren't here because we were here that didn't know why they're here. We were here just for the food. We changed our food infrastructure, and then we changed a lot of things. And it's slowly getting better. Even the people who were here who didn't understand why they're here are slowly starting to get, to get into it. You know, it's it's growing. Okay. It's the birth of a movement. And so, yeah, these people they sadden me. You know, and they me a Well, do you believe that these people over here that are not willing to work and help should have no part of this? No, they should. They're they should. They're still okay. They're still the ninety-nine percent. Whether or not they want to participate at this moment is their choice. You know. Okay. It takes it takes everybody. So what happens when there are too many people who just want to stand around and not participate? It it stops. It stops. And, and then we will say, hey, we want this going again. They start doing it. And then that's, I think that's what it realizes. It's, it's kind of like how a little kid, you know, he runs and he hits his head on the wall. And when he hits his head on the wall, he knows not to run into the wall anymore. So if there are too many people who are standing around taking from the food or taking from the group, and they're not contributing to the group, the group would collapse if there were too many people doing that. It wouldn't collapse. It might falter, but then people would pick it right back up. I've seen it happen in the kitchen. The kitchen infrastructure the had structured meals. They had, we will serve meals every day at this time. And so we got all these lines of people who weren't here, and then that kitchen infra infrastructure collapsed because they were too rigid, and they couldn't keep up with it. And then they, they just gone. So all these new people moved in and said, we're going to serve food as we make it. And we're just going to do this our way. And they made a kitchen. They, they made it better. They cleared out a lot of people who were, who were um, who are still the 99% but who are not contributing because their their meals are more sporadic so less people just like wait and come around so that like that's an example of like what happens when one of like when something stops working and other people come in and take it over and make it better okay you know, not, not everything that everybody's doing is perfect but you know everybody will always try and step in and contribute when it comes down to it. Like a lot of these people are standing around contributing their own ways. A lot of them could be marchers or walk you know? A large majority of the people who live here do volunteer regularly. Or do other stuff. Okay. It's interesting. But that's just, you know, that's my input. That's you know, it's, it's been here for... my over-caffeinated... Sure, sure. And, you know, th this, this group has been here for a month now, right? And, uh... A month yesterday. You know... For, for the guy in the kitchen to say, you know, I'm screaming at people to come help me kitchen, volunteer. Kitchen, kitchen. I think a lot of his volunteers actually work there. Yeah. Go home. I'm not go home. <laughs> Get blood today. I don't think I'm gonna let anyone here stick me with a needle. <laughs> uh, See, until until the individual is hungry enough to, to, to want to work for their food, they'll just stand around and watch because they're not hungry themselves. So no one no one comes to the kitchen to help. It's kind of like capitalism. Unless you have a reason to want to do something, 
you just mooch off the system.